Nathan Outridge is our ninth sailor in the Ask the AST series. Nate, thanks for joining us today. Yeah, no worries. Thanks for having us. First question for you from our Facebook fans is from Elliot Basili. He'd like to know, when did you start off sailing and how did you transition over to the 49ers and the moths? Uh, I probably started sailing when I was about three years old and um, always used to watch that in footers racing and always wanted to sail a, a fast boat. So uh, I sailed like 29ers after I sort of went through the junior classes and then got into 470s and with the goal to get to the 49er and um, yeah, eventually sort of got big enough to sail the 49er and sailed that sort of in 05 and 06 and then obviously the the moth sort of caught my attention after the Olympics last time, so um, I bought a boat and I've been doing a bit of both since then, but I've only sailed the moth really any one day since the world, so it's a bit depressing. It just sits at home and I miss it dearly, but um, yeah, it, was, uh, it wasn't the easiest of pathways, but um, definitely something that, you know, I'm pretty happy to, to be in these two types of boats. And Elliot would also not like to know what made it motivated you to keep going out training when you were young, uh, you know, day in, day out to get where you are today? Uh, I guess where I live, there wasn't much else to do. Lake Macquarie on the western side, the beach was always 45 minutes away and, um, you know, the weather always looked so good, so I'd just go sailing every chance I got and then once I worked out I was pretty good at it, I, I didn't like losing, so I'd just go out and, and just try and get better and um, the same thing still applies now. I hate losing, so we always go sailing when we, when we need to improve on stuff. One from Charlie McAllister. She'd like to know if you're uh, available to go to her uh, bowling birthday party on the 19th of August. I'm going to be in Hamo on the 19th, I told you, that to make sure you have it on the 17th. I'll be there on Wednesday night, but um, if you're not going to move it, I can't make it. And one from Bryce Waters. He wants to know if you've got one bit of advice for Josh McKnight. <sighs> Stay out of 49ers, mate. <laughs> um, I don't really have any advice for Josh, sorry. One from Cass, Cass Schlim Schlimbach. She'd like to know how did you get into sailing and what advice do you have for young sailors who want to get to where you are now? I got into sailing mainly through my parents, um, they, they had a long sort of history in the sport and um, it was sort of, sort of forced upon me more or less and uh, you know once I realised I liked it uh, I guess the, the most important thing, you know advice I guess I could give is to make sure that you know your parents do support you because they're the one who are paying the bills for so long and you know if you don't have them supporting you and paying for you then it's very difficult and you know it's still possible but um, the more people you can get um, to support you the better and whether that's people you meet through sailing or just you know friends and family it's uh it's one of those sports which is it's a community it's not just an individual sport and one from james sly an up and coming 29er sailor uh, he wants to know what's the greatest challenge of sailing a 49er and have you got any advice for someone who's just starting out in the 49er uh, i guess there's, a, there's a, quite a few challenges to the 49er like until you get your boat handling sorted out um, you can't really race them and to get your handling sorted can take a year or so. So, you know, if you're just getting into the 49er, which I know James is, you should just go out and sail as much as you can um, and master the boat handling skills. Don't be afraid to capsize, you're going to break gear, you're going to probably hurt yourself a lot. But once you get your boat handling sorted, that's when you've got to transition into, you know, learning about the equipment, getting the equipment sorted and then um, and racing from there. But it's you know, you can make it as, as fast or as slow as you want, but the, the important thing is to get a good coach there supporting you or to come and do some good racing with the Aussies when we're racing around Australia and you'll pick it up pretty quickly. And the final one's from Duncan Jamison. Um, he'd like to know, is it possible to transition from a laser to a 49er or is it better off going uh, sailing at a 29er first? Uh, there's a lot of people in our fleet now who are laser sailors, like Ben, who I used to sail with, came from a laser and he just went, straight into the 49. He did a year in the 18s for a while, but um, you know, the skills are very different, but at the same time, lasers require you know, a good bit of fitness, and a lot of the top crews are ex-laser sailors, and in fact, the German team who are sailing here now are both laser sailors, and you know, they're sitting fifth or sixth, I think, in this regatta, so it's possible, but you've got to you know, uh, you know, upskill or reskill into a different area and you know, you can't tack every five seconds. You've got to make sure that you know when you tack it's worthwhile. But yeah, anything's possible. But I think if you moved into a 29er, if you're, you know, a younger kid, that that's probably the easiest way to learn how the skiffs work. But uh, a 49er is a lot more difficult to sail than a 29er. A 29er is still more like a dinky, like a 470 sort of thing where it's quite forgiving. Whereas a 49er, if you get it wrong, it's a big capsize straight away. No worries, so thanks for joining us today, Nate. No worries, cheers.